This is a, a profile that I found quite a while ago. Masculine English Brexit thumbs up. I am looking for masculine, humid white men with light eyes. What the actual? <laughs> that's my. That, that's a real profile what that I've seen. That that is. And is that what you're talking about? Yeah. <laughs> My name's Jason Mansouray and I founded a Claude Hopper, a place where arts and performance intersect with politics, the human condition and ideologies. This is entertainment that says something about the world today and a person's lived experience. On this episode, a Claude Hopper is taking you to the performance night bar whatever at London's Royal Vauxhall Tavern to present one of our many friends slash favourites, Shakona Fire. Shakona Fire is a dancer and performer who mixes comedy, choreography and drag. Often humorously, they tackle issues including race, homelessness and body positivity. All done with a flick of the hair, of the wrist and an ever so well executed turn and twist. I'm not that girl. I'm white and attractive, so sorry. But if you're anything else, anything less, anything less, i.e. not white, you're not worth it. Just a preference, sorry. Is there a block or black button? Well, so, you know, you go on apps, like Grindr, and like, then you see certain profiles, like up for a good time, yada, 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 this is who I am, but then at the end it will be like, but ginger guys with tattoos, I'll step forward. Or guys with long, um, long blonde hair, step forward. Um, you're excluding a whole entire race of people, you know. It's a dating app, but it's more of a hookup app. People use the profile part of it to say they don't like black people. No Asians. Or no Latins. Or people who are fat. Or no femmes. No hamsters. I saw that once. I was very confused. Like looking at that point back in London 20, 30 years ago, no, no blacks, no dogs, no Irish, yeah. and things like houses and pubs. Yeah. How, how do you think that's manifested? Well, on the gay apps, it's basically the same sign of no blacks, no dogs, no Irish. It just says no fats, no femmes, no blacks, no Asians. It, you're encountering, I guess, a more modernized version of racism. It's just on a smaller page and it's on your phone. So people might think that it's different, but it's not. It's, it's still in front of you and it's still there. It's just fed its way into a certain community and into a certain subculture. It's a preference to be like, I'm into muscular guys, I'm into thin guys, I'm into hairy guys. There's hairy Asians, there's no hair Asians. But I feel like blocking out a whole ethnic group is wrong. Don't wish. Tell me about an experience where race has come into it. And that not so, so much, you know, on the app, a, a, maybe a physical experience. Um, a physical experience for me was, um, I guess when I was sleeping with someone. We were fucking at the time. And um, like, I was enjoying it, everything was going well. And he was like, yeah, you like that, don't you? As like, as you do. And I was like, yeah, sure. And then um, he was just like, yeah, nigga bitch. And that was kind of, I was, frozen in time at that time so I couldn't really sink it in and it wasn't until I was going home and I kind of realised what did I just allow. Of course I'm very proud of my, myself and my community but there are times when you know there are of course issues that, that I want to highlight them. You can think that you're like higher up on the, on the ladder because you're being more masculine or white but you forget that there are some people that look at LGBT people all under the same thing. They all don't like us as a whole. 